good evening to you viewers how are you well we are beginning of this new year brand new year 19 sorry 20 22 I'm going way back no <laughs> but 2022 and uh, well how has it started for you I trust that um, this is a second, of course, this is a second um, week in this new year. And uh, well, last week we um, talked about resolutions and, and we did say that the beginning of a year is a good time to reflect. Um, and of course, intelligently and uh, honestly, because we don't want to reflect a pretense um, and uh, with the help of God see how we can do some rethinking remodeling reshaping going forward and uh, there's no problem at all in making and setting goals you know call them resolutions as we said um, for the new year and see how you can Set your priorities to accomplish them for your family, um, in your work life, in your spiritual life. And uh, we do believe that it makes sense. Um, so this um, morning, this evening, I'm sorry, <laughs> we want to continue in along that vein. Um, not focusing on resolutions as such, but we want to um, look at the topic, new beginnings, or if you wish, beginning again. Um, how important is that? So we are trusting as Reverend Kelman and I about this topic, that you benefit from the process. Reverend Kelman? A very blessed good evening to you. Trust you'll be having a good year thus far. And um, we're talking about new beginnings. And in my old years, that like message I spoke about rebooting. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, um, mm -hmm. sometimes things don't always go the way that we desire. Yeah. And in computer lingo, mm -hmm. we have to start all over again. Yes. You know, and um, a new year forms a, a wonderful opportunity to begin that process. So maybe can, we can begin at any time yes, of right. the year. Mm -hmm. But I believe that. A new year forms an excellent opportunity for us to be able um, to look at our lives, as you say, reflect, uh, work through the issues of the past, and uh, uh, kind of get ourselves ready or positioned or perched um, for a new adventure, a new experience. Yes. And that's not always easy, though, you know, because sometimes there are things you have to let go. Yeah. And uh, sometimes you don't, want, you don't want to let them go because maybe mm -hmm. it's too painful. That's right. But the truth of the matter, though, is that by holding on, we actually weaken our own selves. So yeah. let us work with that as we go through this, yeah. uh, for those uh, proceedings. All right. So we're going to dig a little deeper, um, the whole idea of new beginnings. And we trust that you would call a friend, um, a family member, as they always say, and let me know that the Church of a Nazarene Family Forum is being aired at this time. And I believe that we will share some nuggets of truth that will be beneficial to you. Of course, we are the presenters, but we are impacted first, even before we share with you, we are impacted. So we're not coming here to say that we are perfect, but we're just sharing our hearts, sharing our souls with you. It's not about pretense, but we just sharing our hearts with you. And we trust that you benefit from this, these programs. So just call a friend uh, from your member. Let us pray. Father, we thank you again for this opportunity to have to work in partnership with Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation and touching lives. We are grateful um, for persons who have benefited during the past year. And Lord, we are asking you to guide us, even in terms of programming, what we would share with the public. We are asking for your guidance. We know that, Lord, you have an unlimited reservoir of knowledge and we want to tap into that, that we can share with our public 
Sometimes the topics may be light and sometimes they may be difficult topics in the sense that they may cause for change, radical change. But we know that with your help, that is possible. So we're praying today, even as we share in this program, that lives will be touched, as we have been ourselves um, at the beginning of this year, as we focus on the topic of new beginnings. We pray you will influence our discussion and guide us, not only us, but even those who are watching as well, that we can make a meaningful impact and it will enrich our start of this new year, 2022. So bless us, Lord, for Christ's sake. Amen. Viewers, we'll be back with you in a moment. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. All right, we are back with you. And uh, as I often would do, I just want to share a Bible passage that is relevant to our discussion today. And uh, I want to take you to the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, and we want to read verses 18 and 19. And uh, I'm using the NIV version of the Bible. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do not do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. I really feel it reading that passage again. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now, it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. Of course, this passage relates to Isaiah reflecting God's heart to the people of Israel who had drifted away from him, but God in his mercy was offering them another chance to make things right. And God was prepared to forgive and give the people, his people, a second chance. I really like the analogy when, it's, when he talks about, now it springs up, do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the desert. Never tell me. Yeah. Streams um, in the wasteland. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it is a clear analogy of, of God bringing change and turn around to that which is desert, that which is waste, you know, or seemingly waste. Yeah. And, um, and of course, uh, that's the power that uh, we have at our disposal as believers, mm -hmm. that even though things might seem as though they are not you know, what they ought to be, and, and maybe even um, uh, very challenging for us, um, even in those difficult moments, God can create something that is wonderful and, and, and new. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe that's really God's design for us, though, you know, Robert Farley, mm -hmm. Um, that we don't stay where we are, but that there's constant growth and change in our lives. Uh, but that only occurs when we appropriate, you know, God's grace, God's blessings, and uh, uh, God's power, and we are prepared to put in some some work as well, some some as well, Alba Grease, yeah. you know. Um, the, we have we, a part to play. Right? You have a part to play, you know. Um, there's some folk that would seem as though that you know, once you believe God and pray and, and, and that it will take care of it, but there's some hard decisions we have to make um, about our own selves, some, some deep reflections we have to um, engage in, uh, because sometimes, you know, we are our own worst enemy, mm -hmm. you know, to our own growth and movement forward. You know, sometimes we do not acknowledge the, the, the constant errors that we are making in terms of our own selves, and, 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 and that's pre preventing. Uh, on, on progress and, and and of course God's power can change that but we must be aware of it mm -hmm. and be able to appropriate yeah. um, God's power to it. The, the verse say 
stays there. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? Yeah. So it means, as you have said, that if we're not aware of where we are at, mm. we, you know, we're not aware that we are stuck, mm -hmm. um, stuck in the mud, as it were. It's like, it's like sometimes a vehicle st stuck. Um, is that spinning around in the mud? It's not moving. Mm -hmm. We can't just keep pressing and trying to go forward. So it's supposed to go deeper, deeper. Deeper and deeper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is causing the vehicle to stick? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and that's, where, that's where, like you said, that's where the, um, the awareness factor comes in. Mm -hmm. um, we have to understand uh, what uh, the numbers that are working. You know, well, and some of you have a may also mean having to find someone else. Mm -hmm. To, to help, help you, yes. you know, that's it. That's it. Um, in that whole in that whole journey, you know, and I'm sure we'll talk about it later on, though, because there are times when we we get we get stuck, you know, yes. and we, it's hard for us to kind of, you know, get see the whole ourselves. see where we are because of all that's happening around us, yes. and then have, have another set of per, another um, pair of eyes or or having someone else to to be with us, you know, in that journey. Uh, that can be very useful. But is it possible then to be stuck in the mud, as it were, and you keep on trying to get out of that stuck position? Yeah. And you, you realize you need help, but maybe you're not humble enough. Are you always feel you can do it? So, so it's not about, I know we, we are living in a world where people are very independent. Um, nothing, nothing wrong with that, but we have to realize uh, there are times that we need others. We, we, we need others, and then, and that is why we talk about the whole idea of community. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do agree, though, that there are people who um, are dream busters. We may want to have a new beginning and accomplish our dreams. There are people who say to us, "That's not possible," you, you, you know. You will owe it to me. You can, you can stay there. I don't see a problem with you. Yeah. You know, what do you want? Why are you putting yourself in so much trouble? Yeah, there's, there's some folk you have to really, you know, um, remove for, 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 for your life, though, because uh, they, they don't share the same values that you share, and they don't support your, your, your plans and desires. They are always there to um, show what can't be done. And, um, you know, there's an excellent book by Spencer Johnson, who moved my cheese. Yeah. And I, that should be recommended for everyone at yeah. uh, start of a new year, you know. Um, and, and we observed that, you know, him and Hall, the reality of it was that they became, they were good friends, but they were not good for each other, mm -hmm. you know, at, at some points, because, you know, even though Hall wanted to move out, Ham was saying, no, 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 that, that can't work, mm -hmm. you know. And there are times when we have the energy to move, but a friend comes low and says, we're negative and that kind of, you know, it kills that energy, so... Not only energy, opportunity. Yeah, and there's some folk, though, who really are not good for us. Yes. And we have to accept that mm -hmm. and to begin that process of, of releasing those individuals. Because if you're going to have, our, in terms of take advantage of our new beginnings, uh, we, we have to be conscious, not only that, as I said, we have persons who are dream busters, but truly, some of you out there there's somebody who can be a dream partner. Mm -hmm. And um, and we all have to be conscious we can't make it alone. We need dream partners, some person who's going to inspire us, encourage us along the way as we make these new starts. Yeah, and, and it may also me, Reverend Farley, um, for this award in a professional capacity as well too. Mm -hmm. You know, there are lots of life coaches out there who are doing yeah. some pretty good work. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, for this one who will, who will kind of be sick, because it, it may be a issue that is of any deep psychological nature, may just be some issue that you're... Need some guidance. Yeah, just get us on, you're stuck. I just you said, know, that's um, nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, that, that's up hands to, yeah. to give direction, you know what I mean? Um, it may just be an issue that you have to kind of just work through and talk through. Yeah. Um, and see, and see how, how, it can be, how it can be, you know, dealt with. Yeah. And there are things about the person who have who have been that way before, mm -hmm. and they can give us some direction because they, they, they understand it, and therefore, you know, uh, finding those persons because mm -hmm. important. But you made a point earlier which I wanted to kind of comment on, and that was the whole idea of encouragement, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I, I thought about Hebrews 10, uh, verse 23, 24, it talks about, spur each other out to love and good works. 
in another person to be their best self. And I believe even in terms of, of the community of faith, that ought to be our, our mandate mm -hmm. to facilitate the best self mm -hmm. in one another. Yeah. And, and, that, and that is done through affirmation. Yeah. And as I want to start on a new journey, you, you're aware of it, mm -hmm. you affirm them. You know? mm -hmm. They're making steps, you affirm them. Mm -hmm. you know? But also, it may mean uh, being able uh, to have a, a, a word with them as well, but they're not doing so well. Mm -hmm. you know? And I, I talk about affirmation and accountability. And I believe that that the, those are the two important elements mm -hmm. of the faith community. Yeah. Affirmation mm -hmm. and having a shared accountability. Yeah. Where I give you permission yeah. um, to speak to my life if you see me not going in any because direction. Like, we talk about blind spots, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, there, and, and there are parts of us that we're not, we can't see. I suppose we don't have to explore that. Maybe some of the time we can look at the self. But, but, but it, 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 that's, that's important though because mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's a phenomenon in nature. Yeah. Um, we drive our cars and we check our mirrors. Mm -hmm. We don't see anyone. Mm -hmm. We made that maneuver yeah. and it almost caused an accident. Or sometimes it do cause an accident. Yes, and, I mean, and it's, not, it's not that we have not checked our mirror, we have, but yes. the person, spot. a blind spot. So, mm -hmm. so yes, that, that becomes a very- It's happened to me several times. Yes. And my wife was saying, hey, hey, a car is coming. <laughs> you know, sometimes we think, well, look back, you see anything. Yeah. There's a point of the car where you, when you look back, you're not realizing somebody is behind you. Yeah. So you, you do need a second pair of eyes yeah. to help to help help us along. And 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 that and that and that you know is a very is a very powerful point. What you said earlier, in terms of you know, you're stuck in mud, you're accelerating, mm -hmm. and the car is going deeper and deeper in the mud, yes. and becoming more and more hard to extricate. Yeah. So so being able to have someone that will come over and say, well, mm -hmm. you know, um, and this uh, maybe you're doing um, the same thing, and it's not getting the result you want. Have you thought about this? Yes. As a result of frustration, mm -hmm. we, don't, you know, we don't explore all the, all the possibilities because we're frustrated, yeah. you know? Uh, but then having that person mm -hmm. point out to us yeah. can be a source of, of, of change well, for let's, us. Let's look at that analogy, care stuck in a mud. Uh, it has happened to most drivers at some time. I'm sure. How we can get it out? Sometimes, if you have enough people, you may have to lift it. Mm -hmm. You may have to actually lift it. Now, I don't know, unless you're a superman, you can lift the car yourself. Depends on how deep it is. You may have to push it. Mm -hmm. So you may need someone how you push it. Mm -hmm. I've seen, and I'm sure you've seen persons um, taking some boulders and put... A little rocks and put it in there. Put in, you know, yeah. to kind of push it up. To give traction. Give traction. And then even then, you try it again. Mm -hmm. So you do need life, that analogy really is appropriate in terms of life going forward. This whole idea of new beginnings. If you get all of the stock mud, there are times you do need help. Yes. You need help. I have to admit you need help. Yeah. If not, you're gonna go deeper. Yeah. And get stuck in the merry clear, so to speak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's no and it's no no more against anyone yeah. to seek for, to see help. As a matter of fact, the reverse is true that to not see help and to go deeper really is uh, uh, an element of mm -hmm. of you know of pain and 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 and, and more may say even uh, weakness mm -hmm. and to not to not uh, seek what the help you need mm -hmm. to get the real world yet to really is about uh, being afraid maybe of being seen yeah. in a different light. So so what I will say though is that um, persons who recognize that they have been stuck in a position in a particular situation for a period of time. And they try valiantly to get out, mm -hmm. and they've not been able to make it. Mm -hmm. My suggestion is you find someone else some who can who can who can walk with you a little bit mm -hmm. um, in that particular situation, yeah. um, so you can get to the other side. Yeah. And, and the person doesn't have to be with you forever, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I was using illustration of of the of the of a dead car battery. Mm -hmm. So one comes along with their jump cables. Mm -hmm. They attach it, yeah. you know, they give us a boost, mm -hmm. and on our way, and, o go. and over time, yeah. our car rebuilds its, its, yeah. its charge, exactly. you know, and there are times we need someone to just have to give you that little jump mm -hmm. um, so you can start to rebuild your own charge. <laughs> or there may be a case where the battery of itself is, well, you give you a charge for the moment, but then you realize because of the, the nature of the battery, you may have to get a new one. But well, that's okay too. But it gives you know, time. Yes, it gives you time, yes. Time to get a new battery. Yes. Right? It gets, it gets to, to the point <laughs> yes. where 
You did you assess the situation. Battery. That's right. You know, That's you don't right. have jump start, yes. but you, you need more than jump start. Yes. You need to get a new battery. Yes. So listeners, we we're talking, we're talking from our heart. Do you need a new battery, perhaps? Do you need a jump start? Are you stuck in the mud for whatever mm -hmm. reason? Listen, we are giving some ideas today. Mm -hmm. But Reverend Kelman is. Um, we talked about the possibilities, but let's think in terms of why people don't, in terms of new stars, uh, don't move from where they are. Yeah. You mentioned fear. Fear. Uh, mm -hmm. What are people afraid of? What, do you, what would you say? What would you say? Well, you know, it's very, it's very interesting though because um, although persons may be in a very difficult situation, the fear of of further failure yes. uh, becomes a, a, a real uh, demotivator, you know. Um, uh, person sometimes are thinking that, you know, I know the 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 devil. They have to use, to use that phrase. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I get, mm -hmm. and so they, they stay in a difficult situation because they fear mm -hmm. it may get more difficult mm -hmm. yeah. um, if they were to to, to change mm -hmm. or to move on. Uh -huh. And so I, I normally see the persons that, you know, um, the element of fear sometimes can be. False expectations appear real. F E R. It's an acronym. Mm -hmm. False E expectations A mm -hmm. appearing are real. Mm -hmm. And that there are times when, you know, what we are seeing or projecting is really just simply a manifestation of our, of our own thought processes. And that there are times when what we think may never happen, mm -hmm. you know, and, and therefore the best chance of survival is to move, is to change. Yeah, change. And I think that sometimes the the fear might have its genesis and maybe the pain of the past. Let's say last year I, I had some very painful experiences. Maybe I tried to move um, and I, I, I it was painful. And I think sometimes fear and moving and making that new beginning has its genesis and the pain and the trauma. Mm. I would have experienced. So I think that's where you need some kind of help. Uh, also, also, you have self concept too, and yeah. uh, personal self esteem, you know. Um, uh, they tell the person just accept, mm -hmm. they, they settle, yeah. you know. Um, you know, this is just my lot in life, mm -hmm. and therefore, you know, it's not going to change, and therefore, why, why kill myself? But isn't that dangerous? That, to me, that's very fatalistic. Uh, it's, very, it's, very, it's very dangerous, and. It's um, Cobble? Yeah, and mm -hmm. it, it cuts against the grain mm -hmm. of the abundant life that, that as a believer, mm -hmm. uh, we, we speak of. Yeah. Uh, because abundant life is not just simply life of life. Mm -hmm. It's also quality of life as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and I believe that it's God's desire and design for us yeah. um, to have a good quality of life. And, and sometimes we we stay in, 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 in circumstances that are untenable. Yeah. You know, are afraid. they're really not terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, but because of our, of our deep fear of failure, or deep fear that maybe, you know, this will not get better, I'll embarrass myself. Yeah. You know, maybe you've had some bad experience in the past that like you said. Uh, maybe maybe person have set itself to us mm -hmm. that's not true. Like, for example, not going to amount to much. Mm -hmm. And some of those old um, thoughts become become real when we, 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 we yeah. go through crisis. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and therefore the self doubt and we. I and mean, we give in and we give up, you know, basically. Yeah. Um, and, and then it becomes a problem for us. And then, of course, yes. the other um, reason for fear, uh, fear of the unknown. It may not have been, have been a bad experience in the past, but the unknown. We don't know hmm. what we're going to face. So people fear the unknown. Right, that's also a fear of failure, you know, because, mm -hmm. because the unknown then becomes replete with so many possibilities. You know, uh, it, may not, it may not work out, it may have to go back, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm speaking specifically to these like, relationships that yeah. are very toxic, you know. Um, and when it's abuse, but you feel as though, you know, I don't have a choice. Yeah. I say, a person, everyone has a choice, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I'm planning your own uh, beginning, your new beginning, mm -hmm. becomes important as a part of your choice. Yeah. And um, viewers, we, we know we've been chatting along. In the next program, we will continue the same topic. We're going, to, we're going to get some specifics in terms of what are some areas that we can make changing. That is, a, that is a new, has to do with a, um, starting a new family, a new career. It has to do with forgiveness, coming to the point where we forgive. A number of things we want to zero in on in the next program. Uh, Reverend Kelman, I, I know that the time is gone so quickly. 
But um, before we, what was the value in celebrating endings? We're talking about fear. Sorry, we're talking about new beginnings. But someone talks about we should celebrate endings because they proceed new beginnings. I, I believe that, though, you know, and um, even in my own therapy process, I'm big on symbolisms. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I believe that, that, you know, we need to create for ourselves events that us to recognize, mm -hmm. you know, maybe we've come to the end of something. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I normally do would be to ask persons maybe to release a balloon or some other activity mm -hmm. that indicates that, you know, this is come, this is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a, a moment of focus. Yes. It gives you something you can reflect on, yeah. you know. Uh, and it when, positions, positions you in the beginning. Yeah, so when, so when, so when the challenges come, mm -hmm. you can say, you say, you know what, on the 31st of December, mm -hmm. for the January, whatever the time is, mm -hmm. I made determination by this event to release this particular situation, mm -hmm. and therefore I'm not going back there. Yeah. Right? So, so, so this person will do it in their mind, yeah. uh, but they believe that the physical evidence of it, our, our presence, mm -hmm. is also important. For example, is it in the uh, Old Testament? They built altars. Yeah. You know, the altar represented a physical reality or some spiritual victory or, 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 or some, some, some event. Well, um, viewers, the time basically gone. We'll be back with you in a moment to conclude. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. All right, we are back with you to wrap up on this theme of new beginnings. As I said to you in the next program, we are going to, um, the second half um, of this topic, new beginnings, at the beginning of this year. And I, I just want to make a final point and then Reverend Kemmer will close with a comment and pray. To, to say to you, we, we, we are not trying to be difficult, we're just trying to be real and see if we can facilitate your moving and your uh, embracing new beginnings. Uh, but we are conscious, Reverend Kelman, that sometimes to make that change and that thrust, we have to be courageous. Mm -hmm. to overcome fear, whatever, it, it gets in the way. And also we have to force ourselves to to make the decision as well too. Commitment. And that might be establishing a date or a time by which you're gonna do X or Y. Yeah. Uh, because sometimes the moments can just run to other moments in the days, in the years. It doesn't happen. And it doesn't happen. So that is we have to kind of set right, in, our, in our schedules, in our very very clear timelines. Yes. Uh, so we're gonna do what we're gonna do because that becomes important mm -hmm. as well. And as you said, have somebody, accountable partner, person, help us to Give us that push start. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very, very important though. And I think we miss that though, Reverend Father, in love of what we do in that. We always think we can do it in our own in our in ourselves, in our own strength. And if that was true, then God would not give it to us in church. Right. You know, um, the very fact that God saw it fit that we should have the church, the body of believers, the body of believers. Um, then it is almost in the same scene to us. We need one another desperately. Yes. Yeah. Okay, a closing prayer for us. Almighty God, we give you thanks today for the gift of a new year. New plans, new wishes, new beginnings. I pray God today for your divine wisdom, for your courage, and for your strength, Lord. For each one of us to be able to fulfill, Lord, those deep desires we have as we start this new year. And Father, we pray, God, even now for the gift of persons in our lives that we dream partners so we can fulfill that which you've called us to in this year. We give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I bless you, yours. New beginnings are possible. God bless you. <laughs>